Olumide will be telling us who made the cuts as Super Falcons head coach reveals that finals list. Thank you, Melinda. Hello and welcome to Sports News. Super Falcons head coach Thomas Danaby has dropped foreign-based midfielder Ogona Chukudi, who plays for Christensen of Sweden, and Nasara Amazon defender Ugo Chemenayo as he finalized his final 21 players for this month's Women's Africa Cup of Nation finals in Ghana. The final list is made up of three goalkeepers, seven defenders, four midfielders, and seven strikers as the reigning African champions are gunning for a record ninth African crown. The Super Falcons have already begun an eight-day camping in Cote d'Ivoire ahead of the Archon, which will kick off on November the 14th. The Super Falcons will kick off their campaign on November the 18th against South Africa. Moving to Europe, Valencia's Carlos Soler had a hand in all three goals as they beat Young Boys in tonight's UEFA Champions League match, boosting their last 16 hopes with their first home win of the season. AS Roma also put themselves on the brink of a place in the knockout stage when Lorenzo Pellegrini's first goal in the competition gave them a 2-1 win at 10-man CSKA Moscow. Meanwhile, in the other matches just concluded, Manchester United defeated Juventus 2-1 in Turin. Reigning champions Real Madrid beat Victoria Pleasant by 5-0. Manchester City beat Shakhtar Donetsk 5-0. Lyon recorded a 2-1 win against Hoffenheim. And Bayern Munich defeated AEK Athens 2-0. FIFA President Gianni Infantino has threatened that the world's football governing body will ban any player from the World Cup if they play in a breakaway European Super League. Ms. Infantino insists the governing body will take stiffer action on players at clubs like Barcelona, Manchester City and Bayern if they left their national divisions to form a privately owned league. There are indications Real Madrid is reported to be working with cons consultants on a 16-team Super League to kick off in 2021, effectively replacing the Champions League outside the control of UEFA. Away from football and finally, Formula One chairman Chase Carey is excited to see Vietnam uh, join the Formula One calendar from 2020 with a race holding in the city capital, Hanoi. The race was announced by the sports chairman, Mr. Carey, and will be staged for the first time in April of that year. The Hanoi round of the championships, which will be run on the 5,000 kilometer circuit, will be the fourth street race on the calendar, along with Monaco and Singapore. I think it's a great addition to the mix, and I think we've really gotten uh, a track that will be great for racing, great for competition, and and really a great experience for the fans who are who are there. Um, you know, Asia is in really many ways the growth engine of the world today. Um, we have races, great races here in Asia, in Japan, China, Singapore, um, but uh, it is clearly a growing and increasingly important part of the world, and so to be able to add this race in Asia is also very important to us. That's it on Sports News. Melinda is back in a moment with the rest of the News at 10. Many thanks, Olumide. We take you back to the visit of the Prince of Wales to Lagos, which coincided with the ninth edition of the Lagos Photo Festival, which has some of the images being displayed at the British Council office in Ikui. Prince Charles was hosted to the celebration of Nigeria's creative industry, where he met and interacted with some of its members. Now, some of the guests explained that the interface is focused on the prince's desire to understand the Nigerian creative industry and further encourage the practitioners. All 79 Cameroonian children kidnapped from a secondary school in Bamena have regained their freedom. The students were amongst the 82 people kidnapped on Monday morning in the restive Anglophone region. However, the school's principal and a teacher are still in captivity. The head of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon, Reverend Funky Samuel, says he's not concerned with who was behind the kidnapping, but just overwhelmed and happy that the children are back home. A ban on people moving around the Mezam division, which was enforced after the students were taken, has been lifted. 
U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has resigned from the Trump administration. This announcement comes after President Donald Trump tweeted that Sessions would be temporarily replaced by his chief of staff, Matthew Whitaker. In the meantime, Donald Trump has hailed what he calls the tremendous success in the midterm elections after a night of mixed results for the Republican Party. The President of the United States, so accompanied by... It really could be a beautiful bipartisan type of situation. If we won by one or two or three or four or five, that wouldn't happen. And the closer it is, the worse it is. This way, they'll come to me, we'll negotiate, maybe we'll make a deal, maybe we won't. That's possible. But we have a lot of things in common on infrastructure. We want to do something on health care. They want to do something on health care. There are a lot of great things that we can do together. And now we'll send it up and we will really get, we'll get the Democrats and we'll get the Republicans or some of the Republicans. And I'll make sure that we send something up that the Republicans can support. And they're going to want to make sure they send something up that the Democrats can support. Now, we have a much easier path because the Democrats will come to us with a plan for infrastructure, a plan for health care, a plan for whatever they are looking at, and we'll negotiate. And the main news again. The Prince of Wales today visited the Nigerian Navy in Lagos as he continues his three-day visit of the country. Chief of Naval Staff offers assurance that the service is well positioned to protect Nigeria's territorial waters. Allegations of the federal government's use of social intervention program for political purposes today sparked a rowdy session in the Senate. And that's the news at 10. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda. I can't